Okay, hi guys. Today we're gonna work on the Super Quad Buster. He doesn't steer all that good. So we got some uh, parts in from UK Monsters. We got, uh, what the heck are they called? Steering plate with linkage. So that will move servos. We got a couple extra servos. And that'll move our servos down to our uh, axles. And then I'm going to put them on a stick radio and I'll be able to crab walk and everything. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make the Claude Buster steer. So let's get into it. I got the wheels taken off the old Claude Buster here and uh, opened up the kit and had a look at it. Pieces look really good. Got a little mount, some little servo mounts, steering arms. Um, yeah, not real big on instructions, them guys from the UK. More power to you guys. I guess we're gonna wing it. This is a picture of a different setup, so I don't know. I guess we're uh, we're just gonna have to wing her, hey? So I have to take the bumper off, take all the steering off, get at it. While I'm in here, I'll have a look. Probably put some sport tune motors in, just cause I think a person should. We got the bumper taken off. We got our ball joints taken off of our uh, steering arms here. And we replaced, don't forget to replace the screws on your um, axle uh, stabilizer thingies there. And replace the two bottom screws that held the bumper on. Removed the, uh, they gotta replace those guys, replace that guy, bumpers off, remove this bolt, remove this bolt, and this is where the uh, UK Monster steering mod's gonna mount. So let's get to that. Be right back, gotta find a washer. Oh, all right, that was not bad. So let's put this one. Okay, so we got everything tightened down. Servo is mounted, and that's pretty much the way it's going to be. So that's all good. We'll feed our wire up through the through the uh, motor hole here. Okay, got everything tightened up. Got our servo installed, and looking really good. Sitting there pretty. Got our wire up. We're plugged into our uh, we're plugged into our uh, receiver. So let's turn this guy on and make sure he's centered. And... Oh, oh, that's just always so much fun. Okay, the servo is centered. So we'll turn this guy off. And there we have it. Should have steering on a quad buster. I put the Y cable on and got both servos hooked up and rats. They both turn the same way. We need one to go the other way. Otherwise this thing's just going to take off sideways and not do a corner. So, okay, we can, uh, we can overcome that. We got, we got a way to overcome that. I can, I can, I can deal with it. So give me a minute. I'll be right back one more time. Okay, here's the little trick that I came up with. I put a receiver, got rid of the Y cable and I put a receiver and I'm going to run on my stick radio now. Let's get out of that, let's get out of that, let's get out of that to here. So now, now 
we have. We can turn that way, we can turn this way, or we can turn them individually. Awesome. Now we go forward and reverse. So now we have our sticks. So I'm going to check out these motors and see if I want to change them. And I'm going to put it all back together, get some tires on it, and we'll have a look at it. All right. Well, it was a bit of a long night, but we uh, got the UK Monsters steering mod into the Bigfoot Cloudbuster. We got the uh, Servo Monday on the axle in the front. Got the servo mounted on the axle in the back. We got our sport tuned motors put in. Boy, that was a nightmare for an odd reason. So let's turn this guy on and uh, see what we did here. So with the Y cable, with the long uh, servo horn, it doesn't work, you gotta have one down, one up. I think you could get away with the stock servo horn. I don't know, airplane. Um, one on each end and use a Y cable, but with both of them pointed down, of course the tires turn the opposite way, so you're just crab walking all the time. So what I did was I put it onto my i6X radio, fly sky. And uh, now I can run each axle individually and I can crab walk or I can turn sharp or whatever. So let's turn them on and see how that looks. All right. I can do this without driving off the table. There's the front axle. There's the back axle. And there's crab walking, crab walking, sharp turn and a sharp turn. Simple as that, easy peasy. So let's talk about the Sport Tune motors for a minute here while we got her open. Sport Tune motors have wires that are too short. I agree with Adam from Adam's Playground. So what I ended up doing was hacking a bunch out of the tray here, hacking a bunch out of the tray here just to get the motor wires fit and they still barely reach. So I got my uh, ESC lined in there. There's a six channel receiver for the steering setup. All in all it didn't turn out too bad but it more of a pain in the butt than it had to be. You know, give you a sport tune motor it should have the same length of wires as a stock motor. It's to me apart so Anyway, there we have it. We have the Sport Tune motor in. And, uh, yeah, nice little Sport Tune motors. Straightforward installation, nothing scary going on there. Don't know what to say. It's all good. So let's take it outside. It's only five below, snowing lightly, winter time. But let's, uh, let's take it outside and see if we can make a crab walk.